Well, with that, you sent us your your personal boss DS1 yeah. uh, distortion pedal, which we modeled. That's also included in this collection. Yeah. Why that particular pedal? What, what was well, it about one? Well, if anybody out there, you know, um, if you've collected these things, you know that every single one's different. Different. Yeah. Uh, it's they're really funny and. I'm not sure what it is. Could be just parts. Most likely, it's parts, and um, but could be what they've been through. You know, who's kicked it around for for a couple of decades. But we're talking about the Japanese-made early original DS ones by Boss. Uh, they had lead in the in the op amps, right? So I think that's why they they had to be discontinued. And once they moved to Taiwan and and I, this is not a joke, but once they took the lead out, it didn't sound as good. So. Uh, it's, but, you know, I mean, it's done so that when you throw it away, it doesn't sit in the landfill and the lead doesn't leach out. It's good to know the plug-in is environmentally friendly, so you don't have to worry about that. But so I had about um, 25 of these things. I have way too many, you know. I don't like to collect gear, so having 25 of one pedal when I really only use two for an entire tour, you know, seemed a little excessive. So uh, I did go through all of them one day, and I thought, I am just going to figure out which is the best one. And wow. I think what I, I, you know, one of the, the great things about it was the two things that it did at the same time, which always confused me. Number one, it was very expressive and followed nuance of playing from both hands. Uh, but then on the other side, it only seems to go to like eight and a half, you know, like you expect the distortion pedal to go to 10 and 10 is like glorious, you know, like 10 on the on the JVM, right? It's just like, that's all the gain I want. But the, it doesn't go there, you know, so you, you really do have to sort of jerry rig the other part of the system, which is the amp. So your clean's got to have a little dirt in it, but not too much. Because it's a distortion pedal, the entire signal you're putting into it is getting distorted, you know. And the volume of the pedal is actually a little anemic, isn't it? In in real life, the DS1s always sounded like the volume dropped when you stepped on it. And then when you turned it off, your clean channel was like, you know, like, crazy, yeah. but Oof. transient response and everything. So these things get corrected in, in the plug-in version. But uh, what I did notice in the selection of the one that I sent to the IK team was that this one had the most expressive vibe about it. and I don't know. I can't put words to it, but it's just when I what backed off. Why? It's amazing, yeah. it's, isn't it? Yeah. I'm guessing because they're old, that something must be degrading inside, and then maybe when it was brand new, it was a bit fizzy, and and that over time, as the parts start to degrade, maybe some of the high end goes out. I'm not sure, um, but they're all all of those from from that period in the '80s. They all sound pretty much the same. Well, I mean, maybe this one be lead in that one. <laughs> Could be more lead. I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. 